When you think of drugs derived from a leaf, substances like cannabis, cocaine, and even kratom are probably what come to mind. But throughout parts of the Middle East and Africa, khat, usually spelled in English K-H-A-T, but also sometimes spelled Q-A-T, is one of the most popular recreational substances. Khat is a leaf that contains cathinone and cathine, compounds whose chemical structure is similar to that of amphetamines. These substances, when ingested, produce a stimulatory effect that also produces feelings of euphoria and suppresses appetite. Like many drugs, however, Khat has some major downsides. Like pretty much all stimulants, it elevates blood pressure and over the long term is linked with increased rates of cardiovascular disease, strokes and heart attacks. Because Khat is typically consumed by chewing the leaf, it's also associated with periodontal disease. In Yemen especially, Khat has become a major public health crisis. Khat growing provides the main source of livelihood for a whopping 37% of the population. But the plant's addictive and narcotic nature, as well as the fact that it's a powerful stimulant, probably means that it's responsible for a lot more damage than it is good. Khat is a controlled substance in Canada, Germany, the UK and the US, among other countries. However, in parts of the globe where Khat use is very much traditional, Khat remains legal. Israel has a substantial population of Yemenite Jewish immigrants. After Saudi Arabia and Ethiopia, Yemen ranks as the world's third most prolific consumer of this leaf. In Israel, khat is legal so long as it's consumed in its natural form, which is that of a leaf. Concentrates and extracts distilled from the plant, however, are illegal. In Israel, khat is known as gat, reflecting its traditional pronunciation among Yemeni Arabic Jews. For that reason, khat and khat juice, basically just khat blended into a smoothie form, is a somewhat popular pick-me-up in Israel, especially among traditional using demographics. Calling khat a pick-me-up, however, might be something of an understatement. The one time I tried khat, it made me feel like I could run marathons around the city. But perhaps that was because I hadn't built up a tolerance to it yet. Because khat is legal in Israel, but very much illegal in most Western countries, it's not uncommon for Israelis to get busted abroad for carrying it in their suitcases. According to a 2020 report in the Jerusalem Post, the Foreign Ministry's Consular Division said that it was dealing with more than 100 cases of hat smuggling out of Israel. Other Israelis ended up getting busted for personal possession, forgetting that what they considered to be a harmless recreational plant isn't thought of in the same benign light by other world governments. Have you ever tried hat? And if so, what did you think of it? Feel free to leave a comment and like and subscribe for more videos.